Good morning. I'm Commander Marlene Pardue, and on behalf of the 182 men and women who work with me at the West Station to keep West Nashville safe, we'd like to welcome you to our new home. We're very glad to have you here on this great day for the Nashville Police Department and the families and businesses of West Nashville. The building behind me represents a renewed commitment on the part of your officers to provide outstanding service 24 hours a day, every day of the year. It represents our commitment to even stronger partnerships with the many neighborhoods and communities that we serve. We would not be here today without the strong and visionary leadership of the two men standing beside me, Mayor Carl Dean and Chief Steve Anderson. Chief Anderson is a 36-year veteran of the Nashville Police Department whose confidence in the decisions of his senior leadership is a major factor in our police department's overall success. Please join me in welcoming Chief Steve Anderson. Thank you, Commander Pardue. Thank each of you for being here today. This is a grand occasion. This is the, the newest and the best of our police facilities, and I promise you that we're going to make very good use of it as we serve the community. This is the first time in Nashville's history that the community in the West Precinct, West Nashville area, have a precinct of their own, fully staffed, fully serviced, a new community room where meetings can be held. We're, we're very excited about being here. Especially, I go back, when I came on the police department in 1975, the West Precinct operated, uh, shared a facility with the Public Works Building up at 38th and Charlotte. Uh, we had two rooms there. Uh, roll call was held uh, in the lobby. In 1989, the present West Precinct was built further out Charlotte, 5,000 square foot, and it was a grand facility, and we were very proud of it. But as we took our police business to the community and started sharing ownership uh, of the geographical area with the community, the West Precinct became quickly outdated. Uh, for a while, in order to fully serve the West Precinct area, uh, we had roll call under a tent uh, out uh, in the park area. Uh, and then we got the double wide building in the back so we could have roll call and so the detectives would have a place to work. Uh, this is a grand place and we're very proud to be in here. I want to thank the men and women of the West Precinct. Uh, you see several of them standing out there. They have worked literally on top of each other for many years, sharing facilities, walking outside with their cell phones so they could have a conversation with a witness or a victim. So. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to your new home. I know you're going to make good use of it as you serve this community. It took us a while to get here, but we would not be here today without the vision of Mayor Carl Dean. Mayor Dean has seen what we do with the community, how the community has bonded with the police department, how the police department has been supported by the community, and with each of our other facilities, uh, we continue to grow. And with this new facility, thanks to Mayor Dean, we were going to be able to serve the West National community in the same manner. Thank you, Mayor Dean. Thank you, Chief Anderson. And this is a, a beautiful day. It could have been a cold day. It could have been a rainy day, but it's not. It's a beautiful, sunny day. And that's only fitting. I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge the presence of uh, several elected uh, leaders who are here with us today. First, uh, Jason Holloman, who is the uh, council member from this district, along with other council members, Buddy Baker, Doug Pardue, Bill Pridemore, Sherry Weiner, Sandra Moore, Bo Mitchell, Megan Berry, and Berkeley, Berkeley Allen. Thank you all for being here, and thank you to the Metro Council for uh, its support of public safety in Nashville. I'd also like to recognize Judge Mike Jamison, Tory Johnson, our great district attorney. Um, from the uh, office of uh, Congressman Jim Cooper, we have Phil Ponder and uh, Brenda Wynn. 
John Ariola, our clerk is here, along with juvenile court clerk uh, David Smith. I also want to acknowledge uh, two, two friends and two great leaders of our community who are here with us today. Uh, Reverend Tex Thomas. Uh, Tex, it's always, I feel safer when you're here for a variety of reasons. Uh, and also Father Philip Breen. Father, thank you for, for, for being here with us. This is a great day for Nashville. Uh, ribbon cuttings are always my favorite events to attend because they're a sign that our city is growing and that good things are happening here. But today's ceremony is particularly exciting because for the first time in four and a half years and for the first time since I've been mayor, we are marketing the opening of a new police precinct in our city, which is more than just a sign that we are growing. It's a sign that good things are happening. It's a sign that we are a city committed to public safety. Public safety has been and remains a top priority because we recognize that public safety is fundamental to the overall success of a city. Neighborhoods and business districts thrive when people feel safe. At a time when cities across the country are making cuts to their police force, Nashville has grown its ranks to have the largest police force in our city's history. In addition to the investment we have made here with the replacement of the old West Police Precinct, we are adding two entirely new police precincts in Madison in the Midtown Hills area, which is off 8th Avenue, if you aren't familiar with Midtown Hills, which will lessen the burden on all the other precincts around the county. To fund this project, my administration included and the Metro Council unanimously approved about $7 million in fiscal year 2010 capital spending plan for the land acquisition, design, and construction of this building. Let me say that we would not be making these types of investments in this economy if we didn't have the level of confidence that we have in our police department, their leadership and their ability to continue to see public safety improve in our city. Overall crime continues to go down. And the real indication to that right now is that we're on track uh, to have the homicide rate year over year right now is down 12%. Um, let me also say that this is about the first anniversary of uh, the time when uh, Chief Anderson was selected to be the permanent chief of our department. You know, I can look back on a variety of decisions I've made over the last few years, uh, but few give me the satisfaction of making that decision. He was the right man at the right time for this job. You've heard about his extraordinary experience. He's a strong leader and a good leader. But I'll tell you this, that the most reassuring thing that occurred when I was working on making that decision was that I looked at all levels of the police department. I particularly focused on the upper, upper ranks and, and, and the mid ranks in our department. And what I saw was that we have in this city, in our department right now, the men and women who will be the future chiefs of this department. We have the men and women who will be the future chiefs, not only of this department, but in cities throughout Tennessee and throughout this country. We have an extraordinary strong bench in our department, and we should be proud of that. When I talk to neighborhood leaders, and I, do, I regularly do this, almost uniformly, almost uniformly I hear uh, the high level of satisfaction that neighborhood leaders have with the department, how proactive they are, how friendly they are, and how they reach out into the community. And for that, Chief, and to that, all the members of the police department, I say on behalf of a grateful city, thank you. In addition to the important role this building will play in building stronger partnerships between police officers and neighbors in West Nashville, this is a building that we can be proud of physically. It is a building that has added to the aesthetics of this vital corridor by rehabbing what was a vacant former car dealership. And it is a building that reflects our city's goal to be more environmentally sustainable as the first LEED certified police precinct in Nashville. Outside, you have um, pervious parking surfaces that reduce stormwater runoff and an improved buffer to Richland Creek. On top, the roof is right, white to reduce the uh, heat island effect. Inside, there are energy efficient appliances, equipment, and light fixtures. And over 75% of the construction waste was diverted from the landfill and recycled. 
Also, the construction of the building was intended to mitigate any potential future flood damage. The entire building was raised by two feet, two and a half feet. Uh, stone walls were placed in front to divert water from the building if necessary. I want to thank Messer Constructions, who are the, the contractors on this, Thomas Miller and Partners, the architects, for delivering this project on time and for creating a building that not only meets the program needs of our police department, but also sets the bar for further development in this area. Thank you to the community members who participated in the public meetings to help guide the design of this building. And thanks to the Metro departments who were involved, particularly Nancy Whittemore and Dion Diana Stevens from the General Services uh, Department, Keith Durbin from ITS uh, for working on the IT solutions for the precinct, and Scott Potter and his stormwater management staff for their efforts after the flood. I also want to say a special word of thanks to Councilman Buddy Baker, uh, who is here with us today, who was especially helpful in the process of relocating this precinct. The old precinct was in Buddy's district. And this is in a location just outside of his district. And I think the council members here would appreciate, and I think we all appreciate, that um, giving up something in your district like a police precinct is not something you want to do. But Buddy took an active role in helping to see that the police department and the entire West Nashville community was better served. And Buddy, I thank you for that leadership. You're a good man. Thank you. Let me thank you all for being here today. Um, I look forward to seeing you inside um, to, the, to the police department here, the West Precinct. I will see you tomorrow morning at 6.30 a.m. for the first ro roll call. Everybody's invited, so if you want to come at 6.30, please, please join us. Um, and congratulations to all involved. Thanks. No grand opening in Nashville would be complete without music. And I'm excited that Officer Henry Particelli is here with us this morning. When he's not patrolling in Nashville, Henry uses his talents as an outstanding singer-songwriter. This morning, he'll be performing one of his own songs, The Good Guys. Officer Particelli. Thank you. We don't do it for the money Sure don't do it for the fame But we don't think we're superheroes So we work real hard when we train We're prepared to put up a good fight Cause we're the good guys 24-7 will come running It's a life we wouldn't trade We'll always be here when you need us Cause that's just how we're made We'll all band together fighting crime Cause we're the good guys Sisters, and we're proud of what we do. Y'all got here the hard way to earn our badge and gun and blues. Serve and protect, and just a model, it's the truth. We'll take an oath with a right hand in the sky, cause we're the good guys. Blue lights flashing, sirens crying We'll be right there if trouble strikes So if your world comes crashing We'll do our best to make it right It ain't just a job, it's a way of life When you're the good guys We're all Brothers and sisters, and we're proud of what we do. We all got here the hard way to earn our badge and gun and blues. You serve and protect, 
and just a model, it's the truth. And we'll take an oath with a right hand in the sky. Cause we're the good guys. We honor those who came before us. Some gave their lives, but not in vain. Cause there's one thing we all believe in. You do the crime, you're gonna pay. We're serving our community with pride. Cause we're the good guys. sisters and we're proud of what we do y'all we got here the hard way to earn our badge and gun and blues serve and protect and just a model it's the truth we'll take an oath with a right hand in the sky cause we're the good guys the good guys We are the good guys. We are the good guys. We are the good guys. Thank you, Henry. At this time, I'd like to inv invite the council members to join the mayor, chief, and myself as we cut the ribbon for the New West Precinct. Then we ask that you all stay, enjoy lunch, and a tour of the building. Chief? Just watch the paint, guys. It's a little bit tacky. So no Good guys.